Hello, I'm here with MacHeads101 today, and I, I would like to make a video about how to jailbreak 2.0, either iPhone, iPhone 3G, or iPod Touch. So let's get started. First, um, you'll have to open the Pawnage application. So um, I'll go in Applications, and I'll find Pawnage Tool. Just open that up. Okay, then just click OK. Now pick. Uh, I have the iPhone 3G, so I'm going to click for that. It's the same thing for all, except for um, the computer has to do different stuff. And you might want to click on Expert Mode. That lets you change a few options that you can't do in Simple Mode, and then just click here. Now you're going to have to look for an IPSW. You're going to have to download it from the Internet. So, um, well, I, I already downloaded one. I, I can put it in the thingy in the description of the video a link to download it so you just go under um... where did I put it? hacks and then um... iPhone 2.0 there we go that's it oh no that's the custom one this is the regular one and now just click next wait let's do back um... custom logos Instead of the Apple sign, you'll, you'll get a pineapple. Instead of the Connect to iTunes sign, um, you, you're going to get this Steve Jobs thing. You can just um, uncheck those, or if you want, you can get your own. You can find your own one <coughs> or get one from the Internet. But it has to be a PNG file, and it has to be um, 320 by 480 pixels, and it has to be less than 100 kilobytes. So, if you want to do that, you have to make sure it's that. Also, if you want installer, um, well, you're not going to get installer. You're going to get Cydia. That's the new installer. So, yeah, and those are the sources it will come with. And then here are a few more options. Then you can just click build and then click this. You can choose where to save it. I'm going to save it onto the desktop. And then you can click save. Right now, just making the IPSW, so I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, now it's going to ask for your password to finish, so um, I'm just going to type that in. And then, yeah, you're going to see it's going to make all of that. You can just ignore that. Close it. It might um, put a few files on your desktop and those will just disappear. But in the end you'll just have the IPSW. Okay, has your phone been pwned? If you, okay, this is asking if you jailbroke your phone before. Um, if you don't know, just click no. Um, I already have, but since I'm not actually gonna re jailbreak you, I'm just gonna show you how. I'm gonna click no. Now you're gonna have to connect your device to a USB. So I'm gonna connect it to the computer. Hold on. Okay. Because um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to follow these instructions to get it into DFU mode, which lets you put the new custom firmware on. So first you're going to turn it off. Now you're going to have to hold both um, buttons for 10 seconds. Hold. Okay. And now you're gonna have to just hold the um, just hold the home button. I'm not gonna do this because I, I don't wanna have to put the new firmware on. But so it's gonna say um, failed to enter. Do you wanna try again? I'm gonna say no. But normally you'll get a connect to iTunes sign, or you might get the Steve Jobs sign if you um, did the Steve Jobs. No, you won't get that yet. So I'm just gonna say no. Afterwards. Um, 
You're going to want to have to open up iTunes. And you're, you're going to find your um, iPod or iPhone, I should say. Hold on, I don't know why it's not finding it. Oh yeah, it's because it's not on. Hold on. I'll turn my iPhone on. Now for me it's not going to work because I didn't enter DFU mode because um, I don't want to have to redo it but um, I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do. So I might get an error on the page but you won't get that. Just wait for it to appear. I turned my iPod on. Um, you might want, uh, okay, if you, I don't think they made a jailbreak for 2.0.2 yet so I, I'm not going to show you how to do that. So you go into your iPhone, and then you're going to want to click Option or Alt, and then click Restore. Now it's going to open up this like small finder window. You're going to pick this, and then you're going to click Open. I'm going to actually click Cancel because I don't want to have to do it. But you're going to click Open, and then you're going to wait a few minutes, and then the, um, the new firmware the jailbroken firmware will be on it and yeah that's all you you're gonna do so um have a nice day and thank you for watching